With the help of global positioning satellites, granite rock is methodically placed in the Piankatank River in Matthews County, Virginia. The rock is the basis for the newest 25-acre oyster reef in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. The Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, is overseeing the more than $2 million sanctuary reef project in partnership with the Virginia Marine Resources Commission and the Nature Conservancy. We are constructing Oyster Reef for sanctuary purposes, um, constructing it to a height of about 12 to 18 inches um, in a striped configuration. Connor says the Norfolk District has learned through past projects the height of the reef makes a difference in the success of the oyster population. It's the depth that we found to be most successful, it keeps it away from um, the sediment, so hopefully it won't get sedimented over and fouled. Um, but it also keeps it low enough in the water line that it's not serving as an impediment to navigation or getting in the way of the other activities, recreational activities and other things going on out in the waterway. Marine resources officials believe the sanctuary reefs will work with the surrounding reefs to bring in additional oysters in the waterway. Our seed areas will help with putting larvae and recruitment on this reef and that reef, once it's healthy, will sort of put back. So there's sort of this put and take between sanctuary areas. And once you get more oysters in the water, you're obviously going to get more recruitment on your sanctuary areas and your harvest areas. And you sort of get into a cycle of increasing oyster population. The use of granite as an alternative substrate marks a first for the Piankatank River. And according to Connor, it will bring an added layer of protection to this community of bivalves. It's um, not easily poachable um, as far as we want, we want the oysters to stay there and not be removed. For Andy Lacatel with the Nature Conservancy, the project marks another step forward in the pursuit of restoring native oysters. We still have a long way to go. I mean, this, that's the reality of it. Um, but it's important to uh, continue the momentum that we have in restoration, continue to uh, build new reefs. Uh, and, you know, every 25 acres is going to help uh, provide habitat, provide water quality uh, improvement, uh, filtration capacity, recreational fishing opportunities. So every acre we add is, is just one acre forward. Once construction is complete, the Corps will monitor the reef to see how it attracts wild oyster spat and, if needed, will adjust the management plan to improve results. The ultimate goal for the entire Chesapeake Bay Oyster Restoration Program is to have the native oyster be self-sufficient. We're trying to get it to that self-sustaining um, population so that we don't have to continue to, to build reefs. From Matthews County, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.